All right, I am mostly finished with my daughter's journal. I made her for Christmas. It's a junk journal called the Selkie. We went to Ireland recently and she likes folklore and she really liked the stories about the Celtic Selkies. Um, they originated in Ireland and Scotland and in those areas. So um, this one's based on the Irish version of the Selkie. Uh, Selkie can be a man or a woman. Very pretty when they're out of their seal skin. They become human form. Um, and they live on land with their human families for a while until they find their skins again and then they return to the sea. So this is the Selkie. Um, the cover is fabric. Um, this picture of the Selkie I printed on fabric. It's on muslin and then I kind of quilted it with some other muslin and some uh, cheesecloth and then put it on here. It's made into a pocket so there's a little place for a tag here. This little tag has dried flowers in it. It has a little uh, charm there that says embrace perfection. Um, it's got some that's muslin on it. So and some stitching and just kind of fits in here and she can write on it whatever she wants to do. Um, the front also has a little uh, garment pin here with some beads on it. Uh, the back spine, oh, it's roughly two and a half inches. Um, and it's made to look water stained. Um, this is coffee dyed muslin and then it's dried in the oven. So that's kind of how I made it. I used a little tiny bit of ink to define the edges of the ridges, but otherwise it's just muslin fabric, plain muslin fabric, coffee dyed. Um, I have this removable charm here. It's tied onto the bookmarks. Uh, just some leftover fabrics I had. A little shell, a little charm that says listen, and a little seahorse key ring. I have this mostly finished like I mentioned, but not quite all the way. She is very crafty, so I wanted to make sure she had a few things to do on her own. I did give it to her before I was finished with it because I wanted her to have it to open Christmas. Um, and I had to finish a few tags afterwards, but the most of the book was done before I gave it to her. The closure is seam binding, uh, coffee dyed again. Uh, so on the inside, my daughter's middle name is Siobhan. So I have the word Siobhan. Now the Irish spelling is different. It's S-I-O-B-H-A-N, but I still want it in here. That's the name of this, this book. So a little bit of fabric behind it. This my daughter did with her new calligraphy pen. Um, it's tracing paper in this little pen. The end comes off. It's a little pearl and it just sticks back on. That way you can take that little piece of paper out to write or draw or replace it if you want to. Um, the ribbon here is muslin and then I stamped it with a seahorse stamp that I had and sewed it on the edge of the paper. And This is just some scrapbook paper that's been copy dyed. I have several pockets in here. So um, this is just coffee stain paper, some coffee stain tracing paper. It kind of made to look scallop like a seashell. This is the picture of the Selkie for the book. Um, she has her seal skin. She's coming out of the water. Very beautiful. There's not a direct Irish or Scottish Celtic word that means Selkie. The closest is this Celtic word that means seal maiden. So I wrote it on some muslin and then it is attached by stitching to the page itself. Um, and my daughter figured out how to make the beaded pens. So she made this one and stuck it on there the other night. Um, it's just one of the Tim Holtz clips and line paper. This is coffee dyed tracing paper. I love the sound and the feel of that. Um, that is a stamp I had in my collection. This is an accident, but it's staying in there because I'm not taking it out. Um, I got some of my black ink from my uh, calligraphy set in there, so it's just going to stay there. This is just some ruffle ribbon I have, and this is like the edge of a tea towel that I had dyed, and I just saved the scraps from it for different projects, and I used it on this one to put down the center of that. Um, this is some old ledger paper. I have a book full of it from the 70s, so it has a nice feel, smooth texture to it. Great for writing. 
Um, dictionary pages, I wanted them to run the right way. So I attached them with muslin on two pages and then put the muslin in between so it could be inserted with the signature. This is a stamp I have in my collection. This is also a stamp I have. It's hard to tell here, but it's a uh, Maiden in the Sea. It didn't turn out like I wanted. Hindsight, I should have guessed the page before I stamped the image, but my daughter says, hey mom, it just looks like watercolor, so it works perfect for this, so well, it's just gonna stay in there. Again, too hard to take out. Um, the reason I chose this dictionary page is because it has the Irish Sea here, so that's why I left it there. Um, these are paper clips I made with some wire and some beads and I'm really happy with the way that they turned out. I saw it on Jib and Neary's uh, post and I think it's beautiful. I love them. I will do more of these for sure. Um, it's just beading wire with some beads so it was not terribly hard. Um, this is just a digital stamp on some coffee stained paper. That's the back of that. So you see it turned out really cute. And you could tuck stuff up there if you needed to. This is a little tag I had in my stash. A little Tim Holtz paper clip with some um, seam binding there. This is parchment paper I ordered offline. And oh my gosh, it feels so nice. It has texture to it and it has a Christmas crispness to it. It's very nice. Um, a stamp of a uh, sand dollar I have. This is an envelope that I sewed in the center. Um, she keeps things in there right now. She has some dried flowers in there. I don't want to pull them out because they're pretty delicate. Um, there's a stamp of a feather there. Just kind of made it. I like the deckled edges and so does she. So most of this book is going to have the deckled edges. And it's going to have the strings because she likes that look. Now uh, this is ribbon for my stash. There's another digital image that I really liked. I thought that could be the head of one of the selkies. This dictionary page, because it has the word seal, which a selkie sheds its seal skin to become human form. So that's why it's in here. But it also has sea lion, sea anemone, um, the sea. So it had lots of different words in there that would go along with this as well. Uh, this is the back of the muslin that I used to attach the papers with. These are some stamps I had in my collection. And this is some leftover fabric I had. Um, this is a little saying I liked and I hand beaded those beads on there and, and put it in a collage and put it on the, on the tracing paper. It says the seagull chases its own cry over the ocean and I like that saying. So it kind of fit with the book. Um, here's the back of the um, vellum. Now hindsight, again, I would have made this a different color of vellum, but I thought the silver would make it look neat in the sea, but it didn't turn out quite as good as I'd hoped. So, but again, it's it is what it is. It's in there, so it's staying there. Tracing paper, a little feather stamp. Um, here's a feather. So here's some of the stuff that is not finished. She liked this image, and she's going to make it into a tag, but I'm going to let her do that on her own. Some vintage lace I had. Now this is new lace, and I use it to cover some scrapbook paper, and I like the way this works out. I think it looks very pretty inside the book. So I sew all the way around, so it's attached to the pages. Um, and it's usually the cover of a signature that I do that to. Here's the tag I made. I believe the images were from Graphics Fairy. Um, and I used a little bit of uh, cheesecloth on the top and some scrap fabric that I had left over from doing a book. And then the back is uh, coffee stain paper. And I don't know if you can tell there, but I used some gold ink with my calligraphy pen to make some little designs on the page. Kind of hard to see on camera though. All right, this is a poem, a grandmother's telling her grandkids about selkies. Um, a little digital stamp there, mushrooms. Some old lace I have here and another one of the pens with some beads. Collage on the page. Tracing paper, Celtic seal. Again, another Tim Holtz paper clip. Um, another Celtic image there. Parchment paper, another pen there. Um, this paper I ordered offline as well. Oop, I made that piece come off. Anyway, it has little pieces of plant embedded in it, and it's handmade paper. It kind of has a fabric feel to it. It's really cool, so very nice. Um, I did not put a lot of those in here. Those pages are expensive, so I, I only use a few per book. A little squirrel image, another paper clip. On this one, I've attached. This is um, music paper on one side, coffee stain paper on the other, and the song is um, by the Crystal Sea, so it kind of goes with the theme there some plants, 
acorn, some the back side of that paper, parchment paper. Here's another garment pin with some beads. Um, this is an Irish wolfhound when we went to Ireland. She loved looking at those dogs, so I put him in there. I don't know if they had him back then, but hey, it's our story, so. Some tracing paper, some more lined coffee stain paper. Um, quite a bit of blank space in here. She likes to draw, she likes to doodle, and she likes to write, so there's lots of space to do various things in here. Here's just a little tag. It's made with several layers of coffee stain paper and... Um, cardstock, I believe, and then it's got a peacock image and it's stitched. And it's got some seam or er, yeah, seam binding at the top. This is an old handkerchief, and I liked it. I didn't like the way the original page turned out, so I kind of cut it up here, rugged looking. But she can use it as a tuck spot there. So um, this is a little journaling spot here. Uh, just a couple little places. It's just coffee stained paper there. And it says, A sea mist rolls ashore, daydreams deluge me. It's by Brian Strand. And I just kind of like that saying. So, And I thought it fit with the story. Now the little tag I made. I believe this again is a graphics fairy image. Um, I think it's originally a postcard. But I thought it was pretty with the little birds drinking out of a seashell. Um, and that's just a little bit of muslin that's got some inking done and a little button attached. And the back side is just a digital stamp on some coffee dyed paper. So that just fits in there. Some more plant life. All right, this is one of those Frankenstein pages with the tracing paper and the coffee stain paper. Kind of a peekaboo effect here. And you can see the hair behind there, which is a digital stamp. Here's another one of the beaded paper clips I made with the beads and the little beading wire. So it turned out pretty cute. And this is paper bags. Um, coffee stain them put in there. This is another one of the tags made with an image from the Graphics Fairy with seashells lined with coffee stained paper bags. It just tucks in here. Another garment pin with some beads on it there. Um, this is watercolor paper here because she likes to do watercolor. So I've put a few pieces in there. This back of uh, music paper, some lace, parchment paper, another one of those envelopes. The stamp didn't really turn out, but it looks like watercolor, so it's going to work. Got a Celtic image inked on the back. And this has some sari silk on it. This is an image I found in somewhere. I don't know. And she's going to make a tag out of it. Uh, back of the music paper, watercolor on the back of the bag. Another peekaboo Frankenstein page there. Um, this is out of some peat that we order to burn. It's from Ireland, and that's the name of the company. It's the different spelling of her name. So she cut that off of the, one of the bags that we have, and she put a little pin on it. I thought that was kind of cute. This is a tag I made out of dried flowers. Um, it's got the Frankenstein page again. It's got vellum, coffee stain paper, and on the back it's coffee stain paper with a little image of mushrooms and um, caterpillar and stuff on it. This is a little leather bound journal. has a lot of mini pages in it. So what girl doesn't like little mini journals? Another inked image there. And I hand beaded right there to close up this pocket. Um, some tags. This is leftover parchment paper. It says in my garden by the sea. Um, and this is a graphics fairy image, I believe. I put a little star on there stitched around it. It's got some cheesecloth back. This is a tag I had in my stash. Some sorry silk and jute, the number seven for the seven C's, and some coffee stained paper, and it's all put together. Very thick. It's a very thick tag. Um, coffee, tracing paper, vellum. Here's another image. It's a watercolor image of a Irish fishing village. So I put that in there. Celtic horse. Another Tim Holtz paper clip. This is some more of the um, hand made papers. Here's some book pages I had, which are out of one of the Spiderwick notebooks. Um, so again, I wanted them the proper orientation. So they have in here the muslin. Um, here is bookmarks I made. They have little whale tails on the bottom. I don't know if you can see those, but not not too ornate. But she can add charms if she wants for the bookmarks. There's two of them in there. So this says a dream I have over and over. So I thought that would be kind of fitting for this book. Um, this one she got a calligraphy pen with the book. So this is kind of fitting too. Commonly known as fairy sprites look like a mix of humans, insects, and plants. A poem about a sprite that lives in the country. And so she can write a little poem there if she wants. Now more parchment paper. More ledger paper. This is another book page. Memories I have that may not actually be mine. Um, 
If I could be any animal or combination of animals for a day, I would look like this. So I thought that was kind of fun since uh, selkies are seals in the water. Here's some really good, you can see the plant bits really nicely in this page. Um, some more leftover fabric, a little garment pen, a Celtic owl. Um, lots of digital stamps here. This was going to be the cover of the book, but I didn't like it as well as I liked the other image. So the other image became the book cover, but I still wanted this one in there. Some more ruffles with some ribbon. Um, another pen. She likes these pens, so there's a lot of them in here. She loves this stamp of mine, so I put it in there. It's called Gypsy Soul. Um, and I stamped some feathers on some muslin to um, finish up the end of this page. Um, a seal. Here's another one of those paper clips I made. Uh, some more leftover fabrics. This is another poem. This was by Paula Ors Osborne. It's called The Selkie. And then these are some stamps I had. The paper, another images, some watercolor paper, some ledger paper, uh, some more tracing paper, some more of the older lace that I have. Um, some Celtic images of some sea creatures, a little Irish cottage. And this one, I forgot to sew the edge of the page, so we closed it with a pen. She can do whatever she wants when she gets it home to finish it up. Um, these are things that I put in here she can make her own tags out of once she decides what she wants to do. So those are images from the Graphics Fairy. <clears throat> and on the back, I finished almost all of mine with this. It's called A Novel Tome by KJ, and then I put the date that I completed it on. I was cutting this one really close. Um, so that's it. You can see, and this one's, you know, pretty chunky. I, she can still put some things in there, but it is chunky. You can see it's just uh, about nine inches tall. Mm, just about seven inches wide on this one. So it's a fairly good sized book and hopefully she'll be able to get a lot of writing done in here. She does like to journal. So anyway, I think that's it. I hope you enjoyed and happy crafting everyone.